Cameron Hayward, you don't know what to expect from me, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are ready for the Chicago Bears rebuild because I'm kind of ready for this one, man. We're still stuck in the NFC North because I know if you guys watched my last rebuilding video, we were on the Detroit Lions. Now, I was recording this a, a couple days after that rebuild, mainly because I kind of wanted to get ahead in, in videos a little bit. Um, so I'm recording this the day, <laughs> the day before Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Uh, I know this won't go out until the week after, but happy late Thanksgiving in that kind of sense. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so like i said we are doing the chicago bears today let's talk about those chicago bears a little bit uh they're currently three and seven on the regular season they are fourth in the nfc north it's kind of weird because we're doing two shitty nfc north teams back to back and all of their ratings are under like 75 which is it's, it's gonna make these two tough these back-to-back -back rebuilds pretty tough um so a little bit like i said on the chicago bears at three and seven uh last year i believe they went six and eleven uh, I believe that was good for I kind of have like these stats right here. I think that was last and no, no, no It was second and last because the Lions were three and thirteen I know in the last video I said three and eleven but the Lions were three and thirteen and one last season and the Chicago Bears were three uh, Six and eleven damn all those numbers. I gotta remember. It's kind of hurting my head a little bit um, <laughs> I kind of went in my closet to see if I could find something orange. Uh, now. I'm kind of looking like Freddy Cougar <laughs> dang um so a little bit on the offensive side of things for the Chicago Bears. Uh, they are 22nd in yards per game. They average about 326. Um, points per game, they are 17th. They average about 21.9. Uh, defensive rank, they are 16th in yards per game with 339 yards given up per game and 27th in points per game, allowing 24.9. Now, let's go on to the roster here so I can talk about the rest of the team before I start. Uh, let's go to the lineup. Um, so i believe on the year justin fields is fifth in the league in rushing i believe he has like 800 something which it's gonna be kind of weird because he's gonna break a thousand yards as a quarterback didn't lamar jackson do that a few years ago i don't remember um so yeah look at our offense take a look at our offense right here our offensive line isn't the greatest i mean we have what tevin jenkins and white hair here um they could improve a little bit how is white hair is he like in his 30s yeah he's 30s he might regress he just might um commit is actually kind of showing off this season um they did pick up the additions of claypool from the pittsburgh steelers y'all know i'm kind of um questioning that one a little bit uh we should not have traded him away but if the bears keep losing then that second round pick is going to look a lot nicer for us um they have darnell mooney uh montgomery and justin fields you guys already know he's gonna be the quarterback for the rest of the video uh, i don't want to pick up anybody else he is a 77 star so if he continues to progress he could be like 83 84 potentially lead us to a super bowl on the defensive side of things right this is where their two uh draft picks come in they didn't have a first round draft pick obviously they had two second rounds one 39th and the other one 48th the 39th pick was kyler gordon here out of the university of washington he is the third cornerback on the board, but I'm just going to put him second so he can at least develop a little bit. And the 48th pick was Jaquan Brisker out of Penn State. I believe Jaquan Brisker is having the better season than Kyler Gordon. Um, he's kind of like a hit stick machine, if you ask me, uh, from his time at Penn State. Um, so the kicker punter, they're going to be here for you. <laughs> Kick and putt returner. Pettis, I believe he was like the lowest rated pass catcher this season at one point. At one point. Don't quote me on that. Quote me on that. Um... <laughs> He was gonna be our specialist. We're gonna have Kyle Gordon in the slot. Um, pretty much. Uh this I'm gonna be honest. Uh when it comes to like the front four and the 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 interior seven with, with these guys with the front four and the, the three linebackers, we're not the greatest. We're not the greatest. This is why they don't win games in simulation. Uh, you, you guys know if you guys watch my Lions rebuild, they really didn't win a lot of games. They were kind of third or fourth um when it comes to that kind of thing. So anyway offense we're going to be running the west coast power run and then for defense we're going to be running the base four three just to help us out power run mainly because this team runs the ball a lot they are highly effective when running the ball i know justin fields just broke the record for the most rushing yards in a game by a qb at like 180 or something like that um yeah that's pretty much gonna be it guys uh let's go ahead and jump into this jump into this rebuild man <laughs> i'm ready and i'll see you guys all at the end of the season okay so we are coming up to the end of the regular season here. I'm not going to be surprised because I know we're probably going to be at the bottom of the list. Um, we have to develop. If we don't develop, we're not going to win any ball games. I hope Justin Fields. Oh, my Jesus. 
<laughs> this team went two and 15. Two and 15. I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> I don't, let's go ahead and check who made the playoffs and whatnot. Um, we do have a first year. How are the Raiders number one? Uh, no, no, we got to be more realistic than this, Madden. Come on now. Come on now. That's going to be all your teams if you guys are excited to see if your team made it. Um, go ahead and peep that. Go ahead and peep that. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our players, and then we're going to go ahead and check out the stats for the season. Get our staff set, because our staff is probably the one that costs a few games. Um, see, do we have a rushing Kareem Hunt? No, no, no. Nobody rushing the quarterback at all. Nobody playing coverage. Devin Bush, 147 tackle. Okay. Oh, I respect it. I always respect when my Steelers do something great. All right. We're at 30th in offense. Uh, I kind of expected that. Not really. 25th in defense. Um, on that end. Oh, I didn't mean to go back. Whoopsie. So we got to go in here. Justin Fields had 3,700 yards passing, 26 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Hey, hey, that touchdown and interception ratio, that's not too bad. I kind of expected more touchdowns though, but that that's not too bad. 60% uh, per completion percentage, eh, kind of poopy if you ask me. Um, let's see, Khalil Herbert, okay. I remembered one thing before I started the sim, and that was Khalil Herbert is actually, I believe, the starting running back instead of David Montgomery. Um, actually cool that Justin Fields finished second because he's actually that kind of guy in real life. Um, but I kind of expected more from him in that in that kind of sense, I guess. But I mean, Khalil Herbert almost at a thousand yard. We almost had a thousand yard uh, running back. Uh, David Montgomery had seven touchdowns. I have no idea how. Uh, Darnell Mooney had 923 on the season. Claypool had 730. Uh, I don't think they're even on pace to get a thousand in real life. But then again, when if you don't win ball games, you're not gonna have thousand yard receivers. You're just gonna be losing ball games and not being able to move the ball whatsoever that's that's what happens when you don't move the ball you don't gain yards you don't gain yards you don't get a thousand yards on the season man uh darnell mooney had 14 touchdowns though 14 if that can move you to a superstar yo i'll be mad excited mad excited let's go ahead and check out the defense we had three people over 100 tackles that's because we were on defense a lot uh nicholas morrow 118 kyler gordon 108 cool dude if you can win defensive rookie of the year i'd be so happy so happy um and deandre hudson carson had 104 um interceptions on the season here uh nicholas morrow had two hudson carson has two kyler gordon one jalen john jalen johnson actually becomes like an 85 88 at the end of well starting year three jaquan brisker had zero i kind of wanted him to get some um we did not generate any pressure whatsoever. Angelo Blackson, five. Morrill, three. Mohammed three. Yo, Morrill is kind of all over the place a little bit, if you ask me. Dominic Robinson had three. And Travis Gibson, uh, Gibson had two. Uh, two. I, I kind of skimmed over that. Um, let me get my staff in order. And then I will see you guys at the end of the season uh, for the season recap. All right, so we sent to the Super Bowl here. We got the Cleveland Browns against the... Um, uh green bay packer wow i couldn't remember the name there for a second they are in our division <laughs> uh yearly awards let's go ahead and check this out uh oh, not the yearly awards we gotta wait till we after the super bowl here just because we're the bears for today we're the bears i'm going for the cleveland browns i do not like the cleveland browns as well as the Bengals because i myself am a Steeler fan we all know this so <laughs> the way i'm talking right now it's kind of dumb kind of dumb i told you the browns were gonna win it Deshaun Watson, okay, that's okay. Uh, never mind. Um, NFL MVP Derek Carr, Doug Peterson, Coach of the Year, Cooper Cup, Offensive, Aaron Donald, Defensive, Garrett Wilson, Offensive Rookie, and Ebikide, um, Defensive Rookie of the Year. I already got my staff up in order. Up in order. Let me go ahead and re-sign our players, and I'll see you guys at the end of free agency. Here we are with the end of the free agency period. Again, usually ever since the new update, a lot of people have contracts. So not a lot of people are gonna be available during free agency. So it's majority of the time going to be the same people. Um, this time around, this is, this is the people that I signed. Jamal Williams as a backup running back because we did lose Montgomery in the off season, uh, mainly because I want Khalil Herbert to start. Uh, Tommy Townsend for a punter, who cares? Nate, David, Nate Davis, uh, right guard. I know we have Tevin Jenkins, so uh, Nate Davis might play somewhere else. Um, Jordan Lewis as a cornerback, just cornerback death. I still want Kyler Gordon to develop. Deion Jones, middle linebacker. Uh, Emmanuel Mosley, cornerback. Again, more depth and the D tackle and Derek uh, Nandi. I was trying to sign Rashad Evans. That didn't work out, sadly. Um, I was trying to have another running back there. Running back. Oh my goodness. I was trying to have another linebacker to help us out. 
it just didn't work i don't want to sign marcus davenport again i know we have a ton of money but i know next season there's gonna be a lot of players and i'm gonna splash next season if we win ball games that's gonna draw a lot of people here and that'd be great for us that'd be great for us so we are the second pick and i already know what i want to do here um it's pretty obvious uh we were pretty bad um they are the the bears are kind of pretty bad in real life so i wouldn't be surprised if they're in this general area just to make sure we lock down our guy i'm gonna make a trade <laughs> this second pick uh let's go to the texans make sure because i know the Tex. i think the texans did steal him in the last video and i want him i, I, I want him i want him. i want to make sure we secure the bag and we don't lose him so i'm gonna give you the fifth for to move up one spot in the draft Cool. we don't really draft anybody in the fifth anyway we do have the second round second pick in the next one um in the next round so i might just stay here for that one this is gonna be pretty easy um i know in my last in my last rebuild with the lines it was kind of long it was, it was like damn why is he still here um so will anderson jr welcome to the squad there's nobody else better we do need somebody on the d line to help us out number 31 with that colored arm sleeve Welcome to the squad. I, there's no reason to go quarterback. D tackle could have been one in Jalen Carter. Um, but having somebody on the edge that can generate pressure is what we need because we didn't generate any pressure last season. Now, let me go ahead and sim. I might move up from second. I'm going to be honest. I just want to see where all these other players fall. See, Jalen Carter, they were looking for D-line too. They went CJ Stroud. Why? Why? You have Kenny Pickett. Well, there's the Lions again. And there's Bryce Young who led us in that last video. Um, Miles Murphy. This is going to be all defensive linemen. All defensive linemen. This is the only thing that's going to go during this part portion. So we have receivers. We're cool on receivers. Uh, we're cool on our quarterback line. We still might go. Now, nah, we always get Paris Johnson too. We don't need to. Uh, we have a tight end. We're not really worried about that one. Eli Ricks. We're not really worried about that one. Joey Porter. Not really. Henry Toto could be a guy that we draft just to have a linebacker um or oh there goes penny school um jordan battle just went let, let's see who's on the draft board just just in case if i want to move up here mm, b john robinson we already have our running back we don't need to go that route henry toe toes here um lane oh paris john why did i say lane johnson he plays for the eagles paris johnson is here just to have a tackle um dang nolan smith zion john nelson is here he could be cool uh just so we don't continuously always go paris johnson to be able to block henry toe toes there Wait, let's see who falls i uh, if one of them goes i might move up oh uh, i just clicked on the same thing again oopsie oopsie eberfluss is our coach eberflussies antonio johnson okay they might both just fall to us there goes will levis he might i feel like he might actually go there in real life brian breesey is fell because in real life he looks like he might go a lot higher than that we are at 21 currently eagles don't need a lineman they don't nolan smith jets do can we snack can we i'm gonna make a trade here i, I want to make a trade mainly because injuries are off and i know this man has always been getting injured why not bring him to the squad Where's he at? Where's he? At? I know he's here. I know. Did he? Did he fall in overall? Makai Becton. Is he worth? He he hasn't had a lot of playing time mainly because he's always injured. So what if we just give him a fresh start? What? Why don't you come on over? Oh, they said hell nah. You funny looking. Oh my bad. What if we give you guys a second for next year? Makai Becton can kind of build our line right now. Pulling, move into the left tackle position. Um, just to spice things up a little bit so we don't just. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll give you guys a fifth. How about that? Feel like we overpaid a little bit. All right, cool. Welcome, Makai Beckton, to the squad. We still have our second uh, round pick, which we're just going to send to at this point. Next user. All right, let's go ahead. Unless I trade it away for a first round next year, you think that's a possibility? Would that be a smarter option so we can build next year? If, it, if we have one, 128, Packers, Niners are there. Packers and Niners. Packers and Niners, Packers and Niners. Um, Packers and Niners. Mm, they're both in the NFC. Let me see who's here. If nobody's here, I'll go, I'll go for that pick. It's just so I can potentially trade it later on. Mm, anybody? Malachi Moore. We don't need corners. We just signed like 25 of those dudes. 
oh shout out devon arcane i don't know if that's how you say his name but shout out if you guys watched my last rebuild shout out that man right there boy was in the clutch in the clutch all right so we pretty much don't have anybody here so i'm gonna go ahead and make us a uh, not make a select trade away the pick um i'm gonna snatch the niners pick because i don't want to help the packers out <laughs> i'm gonna snatch their pick hopefully they do a lot worse and that can help us all right i'll see you guys at the start of next season all right so here we are with the start of season number two let's go ahead and show you guys our roster before we just go ahead and just start into the simulation i'm kind of excited for the off season mainly because there's gonna be a lot of players that we're gonna be able to sign with all the money that we have um so i did move some people around on the offensive line makai beckton moved back to the left tackle position white chair left guard uh patrick center uh davis right guard tevin jenkins moves out to the right tackle position i believe that's the position that he was at when they drafted him i if i remember we have Komet there a uh, lot to backing him up with claypool and darnell mooney there uh khalil herbert is going to be a starting running back with justin fields at the quarterback position defense this is our defense slightly improved defense from what we had last year we still have eddie jackson jalen johnson kyler gordon actually bumps up to a star which is actually pretty cool uh gibson were you a, i don't think you were a star either um and then we have will anderson here and Deion jones in the middle kind of wish we still had the other linebacker and jaquan brisker also still here uh pretty much to the same people except for the addition of townsend do we have like 25 different punters uh, i don't I, for sure i guess if that works um that's gonna be our specialist right there oops i did see that jamal williams was there and i'm not gonna allow that i want my other guy to develop i want khalil herbert to develop and having jamal williams you're just the backup you're just the backup just in case even though there's no injuries <laughs> even though there's no injuries you're gonna be the backup for me all right herbert at the power back and third down back respectfully let's get it let's get it let's go ahead and i'll see you guys at the end of the season so we are coming up to the end of the regular season and i believe this could be hit or miss we could just barely sneak in or just barely not eee, nine and eight nine and eight where does that put us i feel like we just snuck in we were sixth okay we we're probably like a game away uh, from actually being eliminated from playoff contention. So it's a good thing that we made it with our record. But the sad part is we have to go up against the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We're going to play it cool, man. I have no idea who they have at the quarterback position. This is this could potentially just be a blowout for us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into the simulation like we always do. I'm just going and uh, upgrading our players here. Unless we shut down wherever is at the quarterback position, then we might have a shot. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, we're going up against Nick Foles? Nick Foles? We have a shot. We have a shot. Uh, with as good as this team is, we definitely have a shot to be able to win and move on to the next round. Let's see who we got here. Yeah, we have, we have to upgrade our players back to back here before we can actually get anything going. So Kyler Gordon is actually 77. He's progressing, progressing. Um, I don't know if that's with a morale boost or what. I'll just go ahead and check out the stats as we don't have anybody in the top two for running back. All right, so offense, we're 21st, and in defense, we are fourth. Okay, so our defense is kind of improving. Uh, Justin Fields was 4,100 yards passing on the season, 32 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 61% uh, completion percentage, only a two-point difference from what he had last season, unfortunately. Kind of wanted to be around like a 65 range um, with how much we run the ball, apparently. Khalil Herbert had 927. Hopefully, next year, he can hit up 1,000. That would be pretty good, but with Justin Fields running the ball half the time, that's going to be very, very difficult um he did have four touchdowns khalil had eight and jamal williams had seven uh receiving okay we had 1000 yard receiver and that was chase claypool donald mooney still has yet to hit that mark but i believe everybody's just catching balls uh cole Komet had the four uh, 747 uh not the airplane of course and then uh Velis jones jr had 720 mm, claypool had eight and darnell mooney had 11 cool well, on the defensive side of things, Deion Jones had 135. Wow. Sterling Weatherford. Who is this guy? No face, head ass. <laughs> 113. And uh, Jaquan Brisker had 101. All right. All right. All right. Interceptions on the season. Uh, Jalen Johnson had two. Jordan Lewis had two. Kyler had one. Eddie Jackson had one. Sacks on the season. I'm expecting big things. All right. Travis Gibson had nine. Will Anderson had eight. Uh, Jones had six. Nandi had four, four, and three. Okay. So we were getting to the quarterback. That's actually pretty good. That's a good sign. Because if we're able to get to the quarterback here, we can potentially win this ball game. So I already did I ever show you guys? All right, let's go ahead and go over the playoff bracket again before we start. Um, Pittsburgh Steelers are second. It's that CJ Stroud effect, Bryce Young effect. It's it's a real thing, dude. It's a real thing. Uh, with that quarterback, that's barely an 80 overall. Is of course gonna lead them to the playoffs. Um, 
Packers have been the first seed in back to back years, which kind of sucks. But let's go ahead and jump into this simulation against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Can we win? Maybe. <laughs> Will we? I don't know. Uh, we always wear the all white unis if they have any. Yes. Yes. So you got to know we rep those. This is the one thing that puts us up all the way. Uh, one of these one of these videos will be in the AFC. I have no idea who's next though. I have to I have to go ahead and check to see who's next in the rebuild portion of it because uh, we had the uh, Lions Bears. I actually have it right here. Give me one second. I know I don't usually take my eyes off the screen, but uh, thirty second. So the next team that we have next will be the Jets. So we're back in the AFC, the AFC East to be exact. So we got the Bills. It's actually a decent shot to make the playoffs in the next video in all three different phases like first season second season and third season um, It's just a matter if if we win a Super Bowl in one of those three seasons I don't know if Zach Wilson's gonna be at the answer there, but until we get there We'll worry about it, but we're not there yet We're in the playoffs against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the road. We just got to shut this team down, man I'm very scared, but it's Nick Foles. It's really Nick Foles like should I be afraid? Not really, but should I? Kind of. All right. Can we stop Nick Foles as they drive down the field and score? And we do not answer as they had the ball on first and 10 at the... Yep, they're going to score. Dude, we're going to get blown out. We are definitely going to get blown out. Uh, come on, Justin Fields. Come on, put out some points. Put out some points again. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. 14-10. 14-10. We, we have a shot. We have a shot next quarter. Drive. No points. Justin Fields. Good. Again. Okay, 13-14. Fourth quarter. We have the ball at the 25-yard line. We kick a field goal. We're up. I believe we're holding Nick Foles right now, which is actually pretty good. I'm going to jump play-by-play play just to see if we can put the ball in the end zone here. First and 10. Uh, reception by Latu. All right, Justin Fields. Nice, nice, nice. We got a penalty. Five-yard on the defense. Was that like neutral zone infraction or something? Uh, I don't know. First and five. All right, Velas Jones Jr. Okay, we got the Matt Canada effect because that's a wide receiver. You know, it's a wide receiver's... I like, uh, what is it? Not, it's the, um, dang, I can't think of it right now. I'm drawing a blank. Khalil Herbert, six yard rush. All right. Get the ball in the end zone. First and goal at the six yard line. Khalil Herbert, two yards. We're stalling. We are stalling. Fourth and goal at the two yard line. All right. I guess I'll take a field goal. Dang it, dude. We needed to punch that in. We needed to punch that in. We need a stop, though. Big time stop. Incomplete pass. Thrown away. Second and 10, three yard rush. One more stop. Fourth and two. Get, we get the ball back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And big time run. Who is that? Jake, oh no, that's a punter. I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm dumb. Tristan Ebner, 12 yard punt return. Oh, that is not what we need. Why is Jamal Williams in the game? Oh, big time, big time throw. Let's go. Justin Fields is Jamal Williams. Okay, never mind, Jamal Williams. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, You got to punch it in, though, man. Uh, you need my trust. We got to punch this in. All right, third and eight. Big time first down. Donald Mooney for 15. Let's go. We have a good old line. We have a good line. Come on, come on. We're stalling. First down again. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Justin. Big time throw again. We got to get in the end zone, though. We have to punch it in. We have to punch. Yes, sir. Touchdown. Touchdown. The Freddy Cougar effect, baby. Did I mention that in the beginning of this video? No, I didn't. All right. Come on. We got to stop Nick Foles. He really ain't him, though. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Incomplete pass. We're up two possessions, though. So we're, I'm not really worried. If they're going to continue to waste the clock like this, by all means, go ahead. First and 10. And where's the second and five at the seven yard line? As they punch it in. Dang, dude, they drove down way too easy. Way, way too easy. Come on. All right. First and 10. All right, cool. Come on. They waste another time out there to win. If we get the first down, ball game's over. Why did we throw it? <laughs> sure. Sure. I'll take it. 23 21 win for the Chicago Bears. I believe. I told you it was Nick Foles. The second I saw it was Nick Foles, it was a wrap. It was a wrap. 69 overall QB. Ain't it? Ain't it? We had the better team. Of course, we're going to advance. Go ahead and check out these stats, baby. All right. Player stats. Ain't nobody care about the Buccaneers because they lost. All right. Justin Fields, 26 for 38 on the game. 321 yards passing. 70% completion percentage with one touchdown. Rushing. Uh, Khalil Herbert had 51. Justin Fields had 20. Uh, one touchdown for Khalil Herbert. Receiving on the day. Claypool had 100. Darnell Mooney had 89. Cool. Claypool had 100. 100 of course he had 100 he had one touchdown on the game top three tacklers we got weatherford brisker and gordon at uh nine eight and six sacks on the game 
No sacks on the game. Interceptions. We had Emmanuel Mosley with an interception. Let's go. Let's go. We eliminated. I don't know. I don't want to say. You know. You know. You know when he was in the Eagles, he was known as Big Nick. I'll tell you guys that right now. That's how he ended up winning that Super Bowl. That's how. That's the reason why Carson Wentz has a ring. I'm gonna be honest. That, that's why he has a ring because he was the one who let him. Not not Carson Wentz. All right, first of many. As we were able to get everything on the right hand side right there, which is actually pretty cool. Let's keep it rolling. Yeah, we're, of course we're gonna keep it rolling, dude. We're them. We're them. We're we're him. Well, I mean, I have to say them because we're talking about a whole team. As we advance, who do we face in the next round? It's gonna be Packers, dude. It's gotta be Packers. Divisional rival. Shit. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. We have a shot, but it's very unlike 50-50. I'm more inclined to stop this run more than anything. I gotta stop this run. This run is more important with the 98 overall back. Enjoy both. So this is gonna be your last ride, bro. Because if they don't resign you, I know we will. I'm gonna make a splurge, splurge. I'm throwing money, money at you. I'm throwing big time money with the 147 million dollar cap that we got. The reason why I'm upgrading a kicker and punter, even though they didn't even play. Okay, whatever. Um, let's go to the bracket and then we start the game. We have... Okay, if Cardinals can pull it out, please pull it out, bro. Please, 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 please. Because uh, if we do, then we have a shot. Uh, it's going to be one one through four on the other side. But there's upsets on this side of the bracket with us. With us. Let's go, let's go ahead and jump into this playoff game. Come on, keep it close. We're on the road again. It's the all-white uni effect. All-white uni effect. Where's it at right there? Boom. And then you guys can wear that one. Playing plain jerseys, you got the plain ones. Ooh, I'm excited. We have a shot, can it happen? Probably not. Uh, but we are playing at a nighttime game. We do kick off, and we're going up against Trey Lance. Again, the Buccaneers had an opportunity to beat us. They didn't do it. They had a higher overall, way higher overall. And now we're here. We are here. And time for us to put this team away as they drove down effortlessly. But they only put up three points on the board. We go down, okay. Dang, <laughs> come on. I, okay, that's what I needed to see. I needed to see a big time throw. Next quarter. Come on, can we put it in? Can we put it in the end zone? Dude, come on, dude. Come, come on, come on, come on. We have to respond. We have to respond. Third quarter. All right, we get the ball. Uh, we have a shot. We have a shot. If we can drive here and put it in, we have a shot. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, second and 12. Second and 12. Another close playoff play. Another close one. Another close one. Let's go play by play. Third and 12, incomplete pass. Yes, sir. First and 10. Come on, man. Come on. We can't generate a stop. They're just driving. Oh, come on. And they punch it in. We got to score fast. That's bog. That's rap. That's rap. That is rap, dude. This game. We, we have no response. We're done. We're done. We're done. Fast forward to the end of the game. Ah, dang it, dude. I know their defense is good, but dang. We, we we created a drive, but it was already too late. As we get eliminated by the San Francisco 49ers. That was a tough loss, man. Really, really tough loss. We had a shot in the beginning. All we needed to do was punch it in. We, we just weren't able to. Justin Fields. Okay, that's cool. As long as you'll be in 81 next season, that will gladly help us out big time. We ended up getting blown out again, but we, I don't expect that though. We I didn't expect it to advance because we are such a low overall team. Next season, we definitely got it for sure though. For sure, for sure. As it's gonna be, let's see who goes to the Super Bowl. We have so much money to spend and we're gonna use every single bit of it. Every single bit. So we have the Chargers and the Packers. I got, please don't be the Packers because I know they, they, lost, they lost to the Browns last year, right? Well, last year, but in the game, obviously. I got Chargers. I don't want the Packers to win the Super Bowl. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Y'all ain't winning the Super Bowl, baby. Nobody in our division is except for us. We're gonna make that run and we are gonna win it. We have so much money to spend, 178 mil to work with. I don't know who we have to resign or whatnot, but whatever. This is gonna be the season recap. Right here, we have the Los Angeles Chargers with the being the one-time Super Bowl champion. Okay, JC Jackson, Super Bowl MVP, 
Abraham Watkins NFL MVP, Key and Peel reference if you guys didn't already know, Doug Peterson Coach of the Year, Cooper Cup Offensive, Aaron Donald Defense, and CJ Stroud Offensive Rookie, and Jalen Carter Defensive Rookie, which kind of sucks. So I thought it was going to be Will Anderson, but never mind. Never mind. Let's go ahead and re-sign some players, and I'll see you guys at the end of the free agency period. So here we are with the end of free agency. I was kind of disappointed, but kind of not really with what happened. Um, this time around, just Tristan Wars was there, and I was trying to sign him because we lost Makai Becton uh, to free agency, unfortunately. But but it did it did turn out to be pretty good. Uh, so you guys kind of already kind of already gave it away. We had 140 mil to spend with all the players we, we re-signed. Nick Bosa, welcome to the squad. Trayvon Diggs, welcome to the squad. T. Higgins, welcome to the squad. Marquise Brown, okay, we do have abundance of wide receivers. I might trade away one of them just just to add more depth somewhere else because uh, I wasn't able to sign players I wanted. Jalen Johnson, welcome back to the squad. Jerry Judy and Tyler Higby. So a ton of offensive weapons and a ton of defensive weapons as well. That's gonna beef up our defensive line. Look, watch. I'll take a let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. So the, the, this is our squad. The offensive line can use help. We need to fix this center and left tackle position really, really bad. We do have Jeff Judy if we want to trade him away somewhere, and we do need a linebacking core. Um, we have shut down corners, shut down secondary. It's just this the 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 interior core of the Defense needs help with the linebackers and the D tackles and whatnot. And let's go ahead and just go ahead and advance to next week. Let's go ahead and go to the draft. There's a player that I want to draft that will fit our line. Kind of where I don't know where we fall. We probably are like at 23-ish, 24, 26. Yeah, we're definitely not going to get him. What if I just do this? What if I do... Um, who? Okay, okay. We're not going to spend much time here in the draft because we really don't need to uh, what if i do well in terms of like what i want to do but okay we have 26 and 29 what if i use this one what if i trade away yeah we have way too many receivers for no reason um darnell mooney i want to keep claypool not really um higgins i get you way too much i kind of feel bad but you are a high rated receiver and i don't want to give you to anybody else so claypool um i don't want to trade you away but i kind of have to sadly I'm going to go to the Broncos, see if the Broncos want to help me out. What the Broncos, what pick do you have? 17? Can I trade for 17 and maybe like a... Oh, man. I wanted to like a left tackle. Patrick Patrick Queen? Maybe move you to the right outside linebacker. Browning is here. Oh, I think he would be cool. I think he'd be nice, honestly. But no, 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 no. Let's go. Let's find somewhere else. That's not it. That's not it. That, that ain't going to help us right now. Chiefs, 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 Chiefs. Hey, Chiefs. Um, all right. I'll trade for you 14. Can I get like a, like a left Nick Bolton? I guess. Right. What if we get Bolton? I think Bolton would be a great fit. Or not Orlando though. What if I gave you Claypool and my 20? Okay. What if I give you both 20, both first round picks that we own? Because we honestly don't need them. They're not gonna help us out for next season. And why not? All right. That it could work. It could work. Um, not really though, because I'd have to give up a lot. Uh, Nick Bolton, damn, dude, I really want Trey Smith. Um, move you in and then move somebody else to the uh, center position and then try to draft somebody inside, maybe? i try to go with this one. All right. Nobody wants Claypool, bro. Dang. What if I go Judy? I guess Judy. Can I get, can I get him now? Wow, okay. And nobody wants 29. That's crazy. What if I do? What if I do this? What if I do? All right. This looks way too enticing. Like, come on. Come, come on. All right. What if I, I'm going to try to throw somebody else in there. Uh, Trey Smith, if you can come, that'd be nice. Um, Reed. Uh, no fan for a backup tight end. Mm, who's our tight end? Right? Who's our backup tight end? I think we have Tyler Higby. Karloftis. Karloftis and move you inside. Perfect. Overpay? Not really. Looks fair to me, honestly. <laughs> Looks fair to me. So we went ahead and made that big time trade. Big time trade. Oh my goodness, with the draft is moving fast. Let's go to the next user pick. Hopefully the guy I want is there. If he's not, then again, not really too upset about it. Uh, not too upset if he's not here. He's probably not gonna be here, is he? I did scroll down all the way to find him. What if I do left guard? Oh, oh you're here. Earl Patterson's here. He's one of the guys I wanted. 
I mean, you're kind of poor. But as long as you can place... Oh! <laughs> the random the random hidden, hidden development trait. All right. So he could be like a star or something. That's, that's great. That's great. Let's go ahead and go to 29. And then we'll jump up out of here. No reason to spend time here. We have a Super Bowl to win, honestly. We have a Super Bowl, big time Super Bowl to win. Uh, and I mean, I mean, beef up the line for no reason. Elite, second, 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 first. I see a couple. Oh, flex on me two time. Oh, not the double flex. I have a lot of points. I could, I could. I could be somebody up. I think we got two great picks. I'll see you guys at the start of next year. All right. So I needed a trade for a linebacker to help us out. So Tyron Shoyinka, I think I overpaid. I probably could have been good with a third, but welcome to the squad. Um, hopefully you could help us out, dude, because I really, really need it. So here we are with the start of season number three. And I'm actually pretty excited. We I feel like we have a shot to actually make a run with the team that we built. If we win games, the morale will go up. If the morale goes up, then we win more games. We win more games, we get the first seed and we could potentially win a Super Bowl. Uh, I know we weren't able to pull it off in the last video. This is the seventh video. So we're currently five and one at the moment. Uh, so if we could just pull it out, that'd be great. Let's go ahead and show you guys the team before we go ahead and run it. We're 84 rated currently all across the board. Uh, our offense looks pretty sick. I'm not going to start you. You're going to start. Uh, Peterson, I moved him to the center position just because why not? Um, everybody else is actually pretty cool. We have a lot of great receivers for Justin Fields to throw the ball to. Tryon Shoyinka is going to be our actual linebacker there. Uh, Carl Loftus is actually going to start for us there. Um, special teams, pretty much still the same people. Townsend. I could actually have Townsend as my kicker and punter, but I'm not going to do that. Specialist, this is gonna be our specialist. He's gonna be the people getting after the quarterback, man. Kyler Gordon is still here, and he's still gonna be putting on a show for us there. Tryon Sharinka, Deion Jones there, uh, Mooney, uh, Tyler Higby. Oh, we actually have a good slot, and actually, that's pretty cool. Um, and those are gonna be the practice squad players that nobody really cares about, sadly, unless you're actually him in real life on the practice squad. But yeah, it's pretty much gonna be everything, guys. Uh, this is one last shot. Let's go ahead and do it. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Oh man, oh man. Let me know what you guys did for uh, Thanksgiving, man. Cause this is gonna go after Thanksgiving, but I'm recording this before. Let me know what you guys ate. If you guys wanna top it down below, feel free, man. Um, I know football's on. I know the I, I know the Cowboys play every year. I kind of forget who plays, even though I just looked the schedule maybe like an hour ago. I think it was like the Raiders, right? It's not the Texans. Commanders? One of those guys. Uh, okay, dang, we finished 15 and two. The Lions ended up making it this time around. Hopefully the Packers didn't make it. If the Lions made it, they made it. I don't think they made it. Sometimes you do have that off chance that a, a team that is under 500 can make it. But eh, if they're lucky, I guess. Um, we do have a buy. Ability unlocked for who? Will Anderson Jr. and Earl Patterson. Oh, that's my center. That's my center. That's actually pretty cool. So we have the first round by, um, I mean, it's not too bad. There's not a lot of tough teams here. If we could just escape the 49ers, we should be fine. 49ers and Cowboys, which always pose a threat no matter who they're going up against, sadly. Um, let's go ahead and get my training up, get my training, make sure all our players get that XP. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and check the stats, simulate to next week and see who we caught. We have two games, two games we gotta pull out. And then we are in the Super Bowl for a sixth time. I was gonna say, cause I was about to say seventh time, even though this is the seventh rebuild, but we didn't make it in the other one. Uh, and I don't wanna go 0-2, man. That's the one thing I do not wanna do. I don't wanna do that. I don't. All right, we're first and 21st in offensive yards. Defense, we have to be shut down completely up fourth. I expected. We did have a thousand yard back as I see it there finally. Uh, Justin Fields had 40 touchdowns, five interceptions. I guess that's what happens when you have elite receivers. 67% completion percentage. It, okay, over the past three years, it's been going up. That's cool. That's what I like to see. We have a thousand yard back. Uh, Justin Fields had 500 yards rushing, basically. Six touchdowns for Cleo Herbert. Justin Fields had two, and St. Clair had five. St. Clair, this rookie, is he a rookie? There's a rookie. These rookies, these second backs be doing a lot of crazy stuff. T. Higgins had a thousand yards on the season. Darnell Mooney had 902. Marquise had 7066. Komet had 526. We're just sharing the love, man. Sharing the love. Darnell Mooney had 12 with T. Higgins having eight. Defense. Oh yeah. Deion Jones had 146. Trayvon Diggs had 102. Brisker had 88. Tryon Shoinka had 85. Interceptions on the season. 
Trayvon Diggs had four, Deion Jones two, Kyler Gordon two. So consistent. Uh, two right here for Jalen Johnson. And let's go with sacks. Make sure everybody get the sack. 18 for Nick Bosa, bro. 18. Well, Anderson at 10. Oh, we had a dynamic duo, baby. We had a dynamic duo. You. Let's go ahead and see who we face next week. 87, 86, 86 after. Dang, it updated. Oh, it's over. It's over. Don't even try us, 49ers. You guys have a run game? Well, you had a run game. We put up 28 points a game. We got this big time. Who's your quarterback? We're shutting him down for sure. Now, 77. Yeah, I'm not worried about you. Not worried about you. Who? Who? All right. Who am I definitely worried about, though? Oh, you're not passing. You are not passing. I'm stopping your boy right here. We'll stop you inside. I'm stopping your boy. If we can stop your boy, it's pretty much over. We have a better team, dude. We generate pressure. We have the cornerbacks shut down corners all over the place. And there's no way you guys beat us back to back. You guys are the team that's stopping us from reaching our destiny. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's get it. We... We are the home team, but you, you know me. You know me. We be wearing their away unis. We, we got to wear them, man. They are our good luck charm. We've won more Super Bowls with away unis than any other team. All right, let's get it. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Sorry, I was stretching. Divisional round against last time we played there. This time you're playing at. Oh, look at the Steelers, though. Hey, big shout out to the Steelers, man. As we always kick off like we always do, hopefully we can stop them. And we, okay, okay, not not too bad. Seven and three. Um, we we have to do a lot better than whatever that was. We have to stop them. Go ahead and drive down the field and put up some more points. Okay, guys. Hey, um, field goals don't win ball games, man. Field goals don't win ball games. I'm telling you right now. We have two quarters to be able to pull it out, and we're not doing anything right now. Come on, Justin. All right. Second and six. We're gonna go ahead and slow it down. See what's going on here. They have the ball. They're driving second, 15, third, and 19. Let's go. Generate that stop. Let's do it. Get the ball back. Second. Okay. Let's drive. Let's drive. Let's move the ball back. Let's, let's move it down. Top this ball game. Let's win it. Yeah. Justin Fields. Marquise Brown. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Every time some. Did we get the first? All right. We're moving the ball. If we can put up a touchdown, get generate a stop score again, we should be great. We like that. We like that. 21 17 we got to get a stop man come on let's get it all right let's go incomplete pass love it love it no big play go back go that way yes sir go that way fourth and five give us back that ball baby let's go and we're almost at midfield too you know what that means oh yeah penalty hey encroachment defense yes sir we move that ball first and ten come on come on justin give me something no interception no nothing come on move that ball baby first and ten yes sir big time rush just hey justin fields get your games man if we go up two possessions i'd be all right whatever um interception third and four first down they're driving they are driving we are in trouble third and eight fourth and eight great punt it punt it yeah yeah all right justin come on justin oh khalil herbert come on herbert oh no oh yeah oh yeah we took a shot we got it get that big time first down baby clock's ticking second and six third and one we get this ball game why are we passing on a third and two situation? Explain to me that. I don't care. We won. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, we, who, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares what they do, man? Who cares? The away uni gang. Away uni gang. Let's check out player stats. That's nobody cares about the 49ers. All right. 118 for 25 on the day. 253 uh, pass yards. 72% completion percentage, three touchdowns, one interception. Uh, good thing we were able to generate a stop, man, because our team liked that. We built like that. 55 yards on the day for uh, Khalil Herbert. Pretty much everybody caught a pass there. I'm, there's not much to it. Um, Latu had a touchdown. St. Clair had a touchdown. And Mooney had a touchdown. Defense, top three. Deion Jones. Oh, my goodness. Deion Jones proved to be a great signing, man. He's good in simulation. Trayvon Diggs, also good in simulation. Nick Bosa, also good in simulation. Did we get a sack? Yes, two of them. Uh, Anandi had one and um, Anderson Jr. had one. Interceptions. Trayvon Diggs had one. Let's go. Bye bye. Bye bye, San Fran. Yes, sir. You're not a threat, baby. You're not a threat. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Come on. 
Come on. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Todd Peterson. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. Dude, these two first round picks I drafted are big time, big time. For real, for real. They helped us out so much. Conference championship. We shut down Christian McCaffrey. That's all we needed to do. One game away to the team we lost Tristan Wars to the Atlanta Falcons. Who is their quarterback? Who is this D'Angelo, Feliangelo, Michelangelo Mitchell dude? Oh, this dude is a problem. He is a problem. Oh, their defense is their defense is cool though. Don't get me wrong, their defense is nice. But that that, that starting quarterback is an issue. Oh my goodness. There's a reason why we barely got it. I don't know if we faced him at the season or not, but don't worry. They're not us. They're not us. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. Not one bit. We got this. We definitely got this. Big time. Because we big time. They're not big time. We're big time. All right. Who oh they got Kyle Pitts X Factor. Who's on the other side of the bracket? Tennessee Titans and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers somehow always make a run in the 30, which is funny. Um, play conference championship, play full game. As we're gonna wear the all white away unis, baby. All right, guys, we're back, we're back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They brought some tri-tip and I was trying to go eat some of that before everybody else ate it and I would've been buttered. I was like, damn, y'all really brought the tri-tip and then give me that? Damn, my brother, they brought some, they gave some to my brother uh, uh, for his work and then, uh, of course he brings them to me obviously and i was like damn boy you better not finish that so i kind of had a you know i kind of had to put a little halt to it because i was trying to go heat some of that i was like oh you know what's bomb though a tri-tip sandwich not a tri-tip but a tri-tip sandwich though all right enough said man let's get into this ball game i'm getting distracted over food over here at the moment all right we are currently up seven to three all right if we can go up a couple touchdowns by the end of the half i'd be great with that that is not what we want to see we want to see us actually moving this ball come on can we generate a stop all right come on justin come on justin this is not what we need bro we need a touchdown we need a okay 14 10 14 10 we get the ball if we're able to put up a touchdown and they're not able to respond we should be great we got to be born great we got to be born ready that is not what we needed though all right at least we stopped them all right 17 10 we're up okay we are up a possession that's great at least as long as it's a full seven points i'm good we have the ball back if we can score we're in the championship again let's get it second and three good okay justin i dude i would love to use you in a super bowl let's go third and five we stalled out we stalled out we can't be stalling out we we have to drive now we have to worry about this team being able to drive down the field no hesitation and just score look at that big time throw big time throw d'angelo d'angelo mitchell 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 to diovin and diovin mitchell I was trying to rhyme, but then I started stuttering. Oopsie. All right, second and 10. Interception. Trayvon Diggs. Seven yard line. Oh, let's, go. let's go. Trayvon Diggs in the clutch, baby. Trayvon Diggs in the clutch. We at the one. Do not choke it. Tw Touchdown. Touchdown. Put this team away. Put this team away, baby. Okay, we don't we don't need a 16 yard shot. Okay, we come on. Slow him down, please. Slow, slow him down. Dude, what is this big play? I'm gonna call you Dion, D Donovan Mitchell now, bro, because you ain't no D'Angelo the way you're playing currently. Incomplete pass. Touchdown. Did they get it? Hey, Justin, we gotta respond, bro. We gotta respond. That was the. Why does Madden do that, right? We go down the field. <laughs> Try to open this gate. Hey, sorry. I'm in recording. I'm thirsty. I'm sorry. Um. Uh, we respond and the first thing they do is throw four consecutive passes all for like 15 yard gains like how is that even a thing when we have jalen johnson and trayvon diggs that doesn't make any sense and we stalled out no we didn't thankfully okay good we're in field goal range if we could just get the, I, i'm cool with the field goal i'm cool with the field goal if we can score a touchdown even better but we can't take a nine yard loss like that fourth and four convert the field goal thank you all right if we don't do not do not do one play touchdown because i don't i don't all right incomplete do you guys see what i'm talking about the response that the simulation does immediate 30 yard pass down the field 
All right, and they continue to, okay. All right, we're gonna get the ball back. And if we gotta stop him, dude, stop. What is this? Pass knocked away. Okay, I'll take that. Jayla Johnson, thank you. All right, 45 seconds, 16 seconds. They're still first and goal. Uh, cool. Last ball game, we win, right? We win? Championship time? Just take a kneel. Thank you. Thank you. It's championship time, baby. The Chicago Bears are going to the Super Bowl. Let's get it. Yo, that quarterback went. Both quarterbacks sucked. I mean, 61% completion percentage, cool, I guess, but both quarterbacks were having a shitter if that that that's the nicest way i'm gonna put it he is a rookie to be able to lead his team to the conference championship hats off to you my guy 29 for 47 for him 16 for 30 for justin fields this was a 200 yard performance for justin fields 53 percent completion i'm gonna be honest we should not have won this ball game we should not have i mean T. Higgins kind of putting the team on his back. 98 receptions, uh, 98 receiving yards. My bad. Let's go check out the defense. These stats are so lackluster for a conference championship game. I guess it wasn't a defensive game because we both put up 20. I say anything for a defensive game is both teams under 20 or one of them at 20. Deion Jones had 13 tackles. Uh, Trayvon Diggs had eight. Troyan Shoyinka had six. Um, two sacks for Will Anderson. Uh, a half for Kyler Gordon and a half for Nick Bosa. All right, we are in the championship game. That was a lot closer than what I expected from a team that should not have been able to put up that many points against us, especially with a rookie quarterback. That's ridiculous. It's too crazy. It's too crazy, man. Sometimes simulation be weird, bro. Like, okay, I get it for NBA 2K. I get it, right? Because it's um. It, there's a seven game series and you expect them to win at least one or two and Madden you have one shot But when your team is way way far superior than the other team you expect to at least win by a lot, right? But no both teams are good 14 and 3 15 and 2 both teams just so happen to be really good at what they did Um, who do we face in the Super Bowl? Is it gonna be the Pittsburgh? Oh, it's the Pittsburgh it's the loss. Oh my god That's crazy. That's crazy. Trayvon Diggs going up to 91 overall. We're going up against CJ Stroud. Remember that CJ Stroud was drafted to the Pittsburgh Steelers and Stroud effect, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and jump into next week, man. Another time, another chance to be able to be Super Bowl champions. Sorry, I have to put the pillow right there. Be able to sit up straight sometimes. My back hurt uh, on this chair. Uh, Super Bowl media day, ain't too worried about it. Let's focus on who we're going to have to guard in this game. CJ Stroud, obviously. He has Blitz Radar and we have TJ coming off the edge. I remember last time these two teams played in real life, it was really, really close. Really, really, really close. Uh, it ended with, I forgot what the score was, unless we scored at the end because they're doing like um, like the laterals and stuff. But I know there was like a weird flag thrown on, um, I don't know what his name is, but I know it starts with the T, like Tushka or something like that. It was just a weird ball game in general. It was, it was I, I didn't say we had it in the bag because we didn't. It was just so tough to watch when we played against the Bears. But this time, they're playing against us, the Steelers. Or like, the Steelers are playing against us. This is the second time we ever faced the Steelers in a Super Bowl. And hopefully, hopefully, we can keep our streak going and finish at 6-1 and one currently when it comes to rebuilds, man. Yeah, they glitched out again. Oh my, I'll be right back again. It's going to be my third attempt at this. Why are the Color Rush jerseys glitched out? I do not understand. The Steelers jerseys, the the color rush ones after like the second or third year they glitch out i do not know why it's like they're all white with like a silver looking like the the uh, oakland raiders or something like that so i guess we're just gonna not put that on for them because I, I think it'd be cool but i guess we can't wear it anyway so you guys are just gonna wear not even can we wear that we can't even wear that how about we give you guys just the regular current home ones i guess let's go ahead and jump into this game against the pittsburgh Steelers, guys this is gonna be the second time i believe i faced them in uh, a rebuild um if not then oops why you are number seven? Oh, this man is trying to be a big man roethlisberger that's funny that is hilarious dude justin fields now it's my turn to control you baby we are gonna put up some points and win this we're gonna go five and one six and one when it comes to super bowls if we're able to pull this out dude i'm so traumatized by this man wearing number seven like you're not big ben roethlisberger stop it Oh, I'm there. I'm there 100%. I got stuck. I got stuck. We got him, though. Najee, you ain't going nowhere, buddy. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah. 
Yeah, simulations. You guys think you guys can run all over my team, huh? You guys you think you can punch it in very easily, but no. Now that I'm here, Bruh. there's a problem. Yeah, my mom said I could be anything. Oh my goodness! My mom said I could be anything I wanted to be. So I became a problem. That's what I meant to say. Hopefully we have a lot of attempts today being able to utilize our offense. But our defense was a big money spender, you know. No, nah, not really. I mean we, we put more money into wide receivers and like stuff like that, but I wanna use our defense. Where's where's Kenny Pickett? Blanket chip is wearing number eight. Where is Kenny Pickett, bro? Where is he? I would have signed him to this squad. Where is he at? Alright, Justin. Alright, Justin. It's time to put on a show, baby. Time to put on a show. I'm gonna get you Super Bowl MVP. Oh, right there. Boom. Nope. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. Oh. Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie. They got Cameron Hayward there still. Okay, he's doing the Conor McGregor. Uh, Komet, Mooney. Who do you guys got? Who's 72? Is that somebody you guys drafted? There's TJ. Um, okay. Number 68. Who's number 60? They have Miles Jack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm running. Oh, yeah, Justin Fields. Oh, yeah, we're gonna break the record with Justin Fields in the Super Bowl. Yeah, Justin. Yeah. All right, now if we're able to generate a stop with the ball back, we should be fine. We should be fine. Oh, yeah. First quarter comes to an end. How does the first quarter come to an end in a sim? Okay, I don't get that. You don't throw me in if the quarter's gonna come to an end. Throw me in after. After. All right, Justin. We all know you can run this ball. You don't have to pass this ball if you don't have to. But let's utilize some of the guys that were here for like the entire video. I mean, T. Higgins wasn't, but I mean, he was wide open. Five for five, boy. What? How do you? Oh yeah. Oh, dude. Justin Field. We're, we gotta run read option. Oh. Cameron, 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 Cameron. You. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, that's Minka. Never mind. Minka read that all the way. No, I want the ball. Give me the ball. I'm not gonna let them do nothing. I wanna. There's a reason why I have Justin Fields. I wanna be able to utilize that uh, read option type stuff. Like if play action here, bop, on the break, bop, and he falls down. Great, perfect. I will send you to Jesus. Oh, he almost got hit. He said, ow. He didn't say, ow, when he got up. My leg. All right, now, read option. Yo, Cameron Hayward, you don't know what to expect from me, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Is Justin Fields less likely to fumble than most quarterbacks? Because I know he's like a running quarterback in general. But is he like less likely to fumble or is he more likely to fumble? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to play action pass. We have three perfectly good tight ends. But play action pass. Running. Running. Justin Fields. Touchdown. Touchdown, Justin. Yeah. Yeah. Showboat. Bro, we don't need to... Oh my god, this is gonna be this is gonna gonna this is gonna look like my Steelers franchise I'm gonna be putting up so many points for no reason. Alright, let's let's see let's throw with Justin. Oh yeah, floater back of the end zone. <laughs> T Higgins, you're funny, dude. Alright, can we get the ball back? Alright, we got the ball back. 21-10. Towards the end of the second quarter. This is gonna be a little easy peasy lemon squeezy win for us. Um you guys already know. When I get the ball back, it's pretty much over each and every time. It's a wraps. It's a wraps. Like, Claypool, you've been here for the majority of the video, too, as well. Let me go ahead and toss you up a doozy. Oh, yeah. He smacked it. Getting it out of you. He said you used to play for the Steelers. He said, hell nah. Why? I just realized that for a second. It took me a second. As soon as the ball got knocked out, I was like, damn, why you hit him so hard like that? Said, oh, my bad. I forgot. Yeah, it's like I already forgot that he played for us already. Mm, I mean, because we could easily just win this ball game. I just throw it up to whoever gets open. But I want to run. I want to. I really, really want to run. Like, whop. Justin Fields down the middle. Slide. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. I'll do everything for this ball team. Ball game. For this ball club. For this ball. Oh, that's so funny. Did Donna Mooney get open for me one time? One time? Nope. I'll just throw to the running back. Oh, oh, come, oh. But I say Khalil Herbert, you've been here the entire video, bro. Let's get you a touchdown. Let's let's big up to Tony Pollard in my previous video, who wasn't able to get a touchdown for being my second second stream back. Oh yeah, we running now. We running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's three for Justin Fields. 
it's like you're in the red zone why do you even have to cover wide receiver it doesn't make any sense like you don't need to cover wide receiver in the red zone because you already know justin fields is gonna run it i mean i don't know i have no idea why my english sucks like i'm trying to speak and it's like i'm saying things that are out of character today all right claypool let's get you one let's get you one oh hell no he's coming oh yeah gotcha bitch Oh, I didn't get in the end zone. Damn it. Terrell Edmonds, you can't go with me. You can't go with me, big guy. All right, who's that? Who's that with the... Oh, oh my goodness. We were running this way. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing, <laughs> Steph, bro? Oh, so funny. That's so funny. Like, Oh, they have a QB spy on me now? That's like, now you have to dedicate resources to a QB spy. You know what that means? You guys can't guard the running back. Or oh, I can just hit this receiver over the middle. Was that Pringle? Was that Pringle? No, that was, uh, that was Higgins. I was like, damn, I completely forgot. <laughs> Do we not have an 85 or... What? I forget what number he is. I didn't adjust numbers this time around. I'll just play with what we got. Like, Tryon Shrinko is number 23. We know he's number 9 with the uh, Buccaneers. Woo! Jalen Johnson. Thank God he resigned back with us. Whoopsie. Oh, my goodness. You are not number 33 in real life, are you? I don't know about that. Because we ran that out to the field as Super Bowl champions, baby. Yeah. Why was that? So, that felt like a fast simulation for no reason. All right. Justin Fields went 15 for 20 on the day. 235, 75% completion percentage. Two touchdowns um, on the rushing end. He had... Uh, I'm telling you guys, it was that tricep. Let me tell you guys something. It was that tricep, man. Justin Fields had four rushing touchdowns. This boy had six uh, touchdowns in total by himself. He said, I'm the offense. Uh, T. Higgins had 95 uh, receiving yards, two touchdowns. So he was the one who caught the two touchdown passes that uh, Justin Fields had. Um, Tryon Shrinka had nine. Kyler Gordon has been here the whole video. Had not eight. And Deion Jones had eight. Um, three and a half sacks for Nick Bosa. One and a half for Will. And Justin Jones had one interceptions. We had Jack Sandburn. Okay. I think he's our other starting linebacker. Jalen Johnson and Eddie Jackson who had one. Perfect. We ended up winning the Super Bowl. 45-17. Complete shutout. Not shutout. But, you know, a lights out performance from Justin Fields. And our defense, of course, who are just built different when it comes to these rebuilds. Justin Fields, you have all that hate talk about you, but now you're a Super Bowl champion and no one, no one can take that away from you. All right, so let's take a look at the recap here for our third and final season. The Chicago Bears uh, ended up beating the Pittsburgh Steelers because, you know, I was there. 45-17, two times Super Bowl champions. Uh, Justin Fields, Super Bowl MVP. D'Angelo Mitchell, Davion Mitchell. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, um, uh, Michelangelo, I don't know, <laughs> NFL MVP for the Falcons, the guy we faced in the conference championship, Arthur Smith, coach of the year, Nick Chubb, offensive player of the year, Greg Russo, defensive player of the year, uh, D'Angelo Mitchell, offensive rookie of the year, and Andrew Dominguez, uh, defensive rookie of the year. So the offensive rookie of the year and the NFL MVP, the rookie for the Falcons was that guy. He is an elite prospect. Imagine following his season to see where you're, not his season, but his career to see where he goes. That would be insane. Uh, anyway, if you guys made it to the end of the video, man, feel free to drop a like and subscribe as it really does do help me out. Uh, like I said uh, before, the next team that we have is the Jets. So we're finally gonna be in the AFC uh, for once after being in the NFC North for two videos. Um, I do also have some of more of that uh, 17 and 0 challenge coming up because I'm excited. I want to do that again. That was actually pretty fun. Um, and a few other ideas that I have planned also coming up. Anyway, anyway, right? I'll see you guys all in the next video. Till next time, happy holidays. Uh, this is gonna go out We got to Thanksgiving anyway, but again, happy holidays. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Till next time, it's Clumsy Guys. See ya. I need you like the sun, 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 sunshine. No, so